everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Shannon. If you're new here, happy to have you. If you're not, welcome back. Today we're in for another thrift trip. I am doing a little venture with my friends because they asked me to take them thrifting and they want to see what my favorite thrift store is all about and like what I do and how I thrift, I guess. Um, they want their own vintage pieces, so I'm super excited to show them how to do that. I am working on some other videos. Go ahead and click subscribe down below if you guys wanna keep your eye out for those because they'll be coming shortly. You can become a part of the Shan fam. Let me know down below if you guys like that name or if you guys have something a little bit more creative. It's just the first thing that popped into my mind. I thought it was cute and kinda catchy, so I was like, let's just go with that. But I'm open to ideas always. If you guys want to, you can go ahead and follow me on my Instagram as well. Like I've said before, I generally like to post my most exciting finds on Instagram just so you guys can get a sneak peek of my thrifting adventures before they come out on video. And I just have like random announcements. We're gonna be going to my favorite Salvation Army today in the city. I've had this Salvation Army in like a plethora of my videos. It's a little ridiculous, but it has never stirred me wrong. I always find really, really amazing finds, including these pants. I don't know if you guys can really see them, <laughs> but they're just like these nice little vintage Wrangler pants that I found actually a really long time ago. And after my declutter, I found them like hidden in my closet. If you guys want to see me declutter the majority of my closet, go ahead and click the link up above after this video is over. <laughs> Let's get into thrifting. Let's see if we can find anything today. I'm so, so, so excited. And um, please, thrift gods, bring me some cool finds so my friends get addicted to thrifting like me and I can take them with me whenever I go. Back in my favorite place already found this really cool patent leather uh, pink jacket in the kids section, but it could fit an adult. Found this very cute Tommy Hilfiger top, and I think it's something that like I might want to crop because I like this little detailing right here, um, but yeah, cool first find. This is Nikki, everyone. It's <laughs> people. Oh my god, literally like her first surf find ever, and she found that freaking score. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about vintage Disney. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. It's a cute little polo Ralph Lauren sweater. It gives me like such collegiate like college vibes. Love. a pretty good Adidas shirt. It just has like a couple stains like over here and then here, but I feel like with bleach, it should be okay. Justin Bieber, is that you? I swear I've been finding so many Levi shirts recently. I don't know what it is, but only $5. That's a steal. This makes me so hungry. I want ramen now. I'm really wondering where this person who probably donated both of these shirts got this from because I've never seen a ramen shirt before. It's <laughs> a really nice Puma jacket. And on the back, it just has this like vintage looking logo on it, which is kind of cool. These shorts are definitely not gonna fit me, but look at that. And look at that waist. This is for sure like a vintage pair of Polo Ralph Lauren shorts. I'm gonna try them on anyway. Are you kidding me? It's like a real Dutch clog, like it's made out of wood. Found some very colorful Club Monaco pants. So fun for spring and summertime. <laughs> Looks like the luxury section got really cleared out recently. It's so empty. Okay, these are like brand new Supergas. And honestly, I might get them if they're my size. This section is so lit. Like, okay, this shoe, and then this shoe, and then this shoe, and then also these Adidas, even though they would never fit me because I think they're actually men's, but like, whoa. <laughs> She's finding all the good brands. 
Mm -hmm. Nice little reformation right there. Pretty crazy. I've never found reformation at the thrift store. Killing it. It's a deal. <laughs> always, always, always check the return rack because I just found the most perfect pair. Oh, yes. I 100% had a pair of butterfly plants like this growing up and they were my favorite. <laughs> so I have a feeling I'm going to be in here for a while just because we got a lot of stuff. But I'm very, very excited about it. I'm so excited for these Levi's. I really, really hope that they fit. They fit. They are pretty high waisted and they just have like that boot cut fit, but I'm so excited. I wanted these shorts to fit me so bad. I knew that they wouldn't, but I was like holding out hope that they would. And they kind of remind me a little bit of parachute pants or like old swimsuit bottoms that people used to wear in like the 50s. I'm not gonna get them, but they are a very, very fun find. <laughs> tried on some skinny overalls and they're really tight at the ankle and I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan of that to be 100% honest. I thought that they were going to be a little bit more loose at the bottom so I think I'm personally going to have to pass. I'm finding some really good like vintage looking graphic tees because I don't necessarily know if this is vintage or not but it kind of looks like it so we're just going to say it is. Here is that Levi's graphic tee that I found earlier, and I haven't found a Levi's tee in this color before, so that's why I think I really like it. It's a little bit different, and I've been super into blue, so I don't know. I may or may not get it. We'll see. Okay, so I'm very, very happy with my finds. I think that I'm done thrifting now, and uh, we're going to go home. We're gonna eat because we're hungry, and I don't know why I'm talking in like a weird third person, but not really third person. I'm saying we're. <laughs> I'm delusional. It's fine. Can't wait to show you what I got. All right, you guys. So now we are done with the thrift with me portion, and I have to say that my favorite Salvation Army did not let me down. I had so much fun with my friend, and she found some really, really amazing pieces. She found a Reformation bodysuit the first time she ever went thrifting. I've never even found anything from Reformation, so that's pretty crazy. I said this before, I'll say it again. Whenever I go to that Salvation Army, it never disappoints me, and I'm so, so, so excited to show you what I got. So let's start. The first thing that I got are these Levi's and I'll show you a closer up view of them in just a second but I actually had in my mind going into the thrift store that I wanted to find a good pair of vintage jeans. I was able to find these Levi's. They are so nice, so comfortable and they're just like that perfect amount of uh, worn so they're like broken in. I don't know if you can break in Levi's but love them they're so so good and I'm so happy that I ended up coming across them always check the return rack I'm serious you find some good stuff <laughs> you guys know a good vintage tea is always a great find at the thrift store it's honestly one of the best places to find vintage teas because there's like so so many of them but I ended up finding this really really vibrant one and it just says Boston right here the reason why I picked it up was because of the colorway. I don't have any graphic tees that are really this vibrant. For the most part, they're just like logos, white, black, and gray. I tend not to stray from those colors. So when I saw this, I was like, let me just branch out of my comfort zone and actually pick a graphic tee that's different. So I decided to add this one to my wardrobe. It's really fun. Can easily be paired with a pair of mom jeans like the ones that I have on. I will put on jeans, a graphic tee, and I don't know, throw on a jacket of some sort. And this is from Zara. Um, I'll actually link it down below because I think that they're actually still selling it. And in a previous video, some people were asking me about it. Just don't wear them in the rain because it's like fake suede. Let's get on to the next thing. I'm so excited about this thrift haul, you guys. I love my Salvation Army so much. I just can always count on it no matter what. I found a t-shirt version of the sweater that I already own that I ended up decluttering in my last video. If you guys want to check it out, link it up above, but I just feel like I will get so much more wear out of this because, like I said, my uniform every day is a graphic tee and jeans. I made a joke on Instagram the other day that puffer coats are in the new jean jackets, and I genuinely believe that that's accurate because when I was walking around yesterday, Every single person that I saw was wearing a puffer coat, and I think it was like 50 degrees, so 
You can wear a jean jacket with pretty much anything. You can do a Canadian tuxedo if you want. You can just wear it normally. I don't know. It just goes with everything. It's super versatile and that's how I feel about these puffy coats. And this has been a staple in my closet since I thrifted it like a week and a half ago. I think I've worn it seven out of the 10 days that I've had it. So get a puffy coat. I truly believe that manifesting things this year has been working for me heavily because I also said that I wanted to find a pair of jeans like this at the thrift store. I got a yellow pair of jeans and they're pretty high waisted. They fit me perfectly and they're not exactly the same color as this jean jacket like I would have liked them to be but I still think that they could work in like an all monochromatic outfit. I don't think that I would wear it with this graphic tee specifically. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is putting a white turtleneck underneath it and then probably just wearing it with some Adidas or something. Another thing that I was determined to find that's actually pretty easy to find at the thrift store was a white cardigan. I wanted to find one that was long sleeve because I wanted to recreate this look that Haley Baldwin had, I think maybe a week ago or something. And it was the cutest thing that I've seen in so long. And I have been totally and completely obsessed with her style. I think she's probably my style icon right now. I'm probably gonna pair it with these high-waisted acid wash jeans that I have. And then some black heels and maybe a nice little headband just to put my own twist on the outfit and still make it feel like my own. But it was so cute. And if you guys have not checked out Hailey Bieber's style, oh, that sounds so weird to say to me. I'm not quite used to the fact that she's married to Justin yet, but it's fine. I'm fine. I get a lot of my inspiration from outfits from her and she's just a boss. No tea, no shade to Selena. I like her too, but like. Hailey Bieber style is just A1. I actually ended up getting a, another pair of jeans. I know, I was so shocked and surprised that I was able to find three pairs of pants, all high-waisted, that all fit me. I found these, which are, I feel like mid-rise, like they're, or no, they're, they're high-waisted still, but they are boot cut and they show a little bit of ankle as well. Having a little exposed sock with some high water pants and a nice like chunky Doc Martin or one of those Oxford shoes on my list of thrift. So hopefully in 2020, I can manifest that as well. But yeah, I'm so excited. I found this cozy graphic tee in the men's section and it just says Adidas Athletics on the front in this collegiate college font and I really, really liked it. I think that, that varsity trend is still very, very in and it's long sleeve, which is so perfect for the very cold winters that we are having right now. I also think that this shirt could look really cool with another graphic tee on top of it and I'll show you what it looks like right now. <laughs> I feel like this adds an extra layer of warmth and just comfort and it adds a little bit of a twist to just wearing a graphic tee. Long sleeves, very versatile. Not only can you wear it once, but you can wear it twice. You can wear it in a different way. Wear it by itself, but you can also wear it like this. I am absolutely 100% a sucker for anything that's vintage Disney. I <laughs> have a really, really hard time passing it up at the thrift store. Recently, I've been raining myself in a little bit and I don't pick up every single shirt, sweater, or anything else that I see that's Disney because it got a little excessive at one point, but I just got really excited about finding these things from Disney at the thrift store because if you go to Disneyland, the shirts are like, mm, they range from like $25 and up and a lot of the shirts right now are actually trying to get that vintage vibe back because they know that that's what's on trend right now. And don't get me wrong, they are killing it at Disneyland with the shirts. I just like to find the ones that I wear to Disneyland from the thrift store. And I don't know if this shirt is necessarily vintage, but it gives me that vibe. I'm going on a Disney trip pretty soon, so I was like, I might as well thrift another shirt. <laughs> especially one as cute as this with little mini on the front. So I don't have a shirt like this, so I thought, why not? The kids section is a hidden gem at the thrift store. I swear that's where I find the majority of my graphic tees. Found all the ones that I'm showing you today, except for one in the kids section, but 
I also ended up finding this shirt as well. And obviously it's not a graphic tee, but it's just this incredible shirt from Zara. I thought it was different. I loved the sleeves and how they're kind of puffy. They remind me a bit of that Victorian era. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. The kids section is also a lot cheaper than the women's and the men's section. So just another heads up if you guys want to check it out. I mean, look at these sleeves. <laughs> they're so fun. I love this sweater. I was so excited when I came across it. I don't even know where I found it because it was kind of a blur. The inside of it is so soft. This sweater was definitely a thrifting bucket list. I have made a list of all the things that I want to try to find at the thrift store before I actually buy them in store. And this one ticked off another thing off the list, which is amazing. One of the other things that I want to find is a pair of Doc Martens. We'll see if that happens. I'm gonna put that out in the universe. I will find Doc Martens this year. 2020 is the year. That are in my size. Please and thank you. But yeah. I am very excited to show you guys the final things. I am one happy gal. <laughs> you guys may or may not know this, but I am a huge Giants fan. They've been my team since I was a young Todd. My love only grew more for them when I moved to the city. So whenever I find these types of jerseys, I get very, very excited because if you go to the actual like Giants retail store, they can go from like $80 to like $200. You know, I gotta support my team. So that's why I decided to pick it up and $5 or $200, even $80, like this is 100% a steal. Go Giants. <laughs> Last but not least, these amazing vintage kind of pinup girl vibes cherry shorts. I love these so, so much. They are a little see-through. I feel like with the right undergarments, you can get away with wearing them. And if not, you could just wear them as like a beach cover-up because they are so stinking cute. They give me all of the 50s vibes. They are just so fun. They're extremely high-waisted, which you guys know is my absolute favorite thing. My friend and I were really lucky. We ended up finding two pairs of these, so one for me and one for her because she loved it too. And ah, I don't know. I just love them so much. They're so cute. Anyway, you guys, that is the end of this haul. I honestly think that I hit the jackpot this thrift trip and I am just so excited to be back home and to be back in my element here in San Francisco. I just wanna thank all of you guys so much for watching. We've almost hit 5,000 subscribers, which is totally insane to me. I'm just really happy that I was able to form this little thrifting community because it's one of my favorite things to do. Like when I'm having a bad day, I go thrifting. When I'm having a good day, I go thrifting. When I just wanna have fun and see if I can find a new piece to my wardrobe, I go thrifting. So again, thank you guys so much. I love you all. I am actually going to be doing a giveaway once we hit 5,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for the next thrift with me because I definitely will be doing a giveaway there. I have a couple juicy pieces for you guys, so I'm excited to give this away. Thanks again. I love you all so much, as you know, and I'll see you in the next video.